Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part tutorial of how to model a microwave. So uh, let's continue. Um, what I want to do right now is just work a little bit some more on this um, door we created here. So first of all let's bring this over here and the doors parts over here and just for a second I want this to be here and the back part over here okay now um, let's press 3 to smooth preview this and see what's going on here uh, basically those um, um, edges here has been turned into be a little bit very uh, smoothed this is because we uh, broke this part extracted this part from this part so let's press 1 back here and I want to add some more uh, edge loops right now so hold on the shift right click insert edge loop we will add one edge loop over here one edge loop over here we will do the same here so one edge loop here and one edge loop here so the upper part is okay now we need to deal with the lower part so one edge loop over here and one edge loop I think this one is uh, it's unneeded let me see yeah well I will undo this one okay I just need these uh, okay let's press three so now uh, those edges are a little bit more like they should look like okay um, I will head to add one more edge loop here because I see it's a problem um, wait hold on the shift right click insert one edge loop here and maybe one more down here sorry okay so now if I will press 3 and look at this yeah, that's more of what I wanted, wanted to get, okay? So, now, uh, be aware that about two things. Um, we have this front here, which is supposed to be some kind of a plastic or glass or whatever. And in the middle, we need to have these, okay, these faces here. Um, basically those faces should be some kind of a, a filter net so your eyes won't get burned from the microwave uh, so um, we, we will uh, apply some texture to it later on so uh, don't worry about this right now um, just make sure that these all uh, faces here those two parts are somewhere where they should be okay now if you intend to smooth preview also this one uh, well we can't right now okay because this is pretty much how it should be so that's okay let's just bring this to be that way and now we have some kind of a door nice door to it and right now I want to deal with the control panel here so um, let's uh, right click choose face I want you to grab these two faces here okay uh, maybe before that let's grab this edge here and press 1 to <coughs> press 1 to exit this smooth preview mode and I want to add two more edge loops maybe you know what let's bring this edge here hold down the shift right click choose slide edge tool and then with your middle mouse will click and hold and drag so we will bring this maybe to the right okay it's a little bit sensitive and maybe let's add another edge loop here same distance like that somewhat same distance and I want to add one more edge loop here and then if I will smooth preview this, okay, let's press 1 to exceed the smooth preview, choose face, let's grab this face, click extrude, 
Um, okay, uh, let's extrude it. Tap on one of those cubes, extrude it that way. So we are creating again another some kind of frame. And then uh, go over edit mesh and choose duplicate this face. Okay, only this face. And press F8 once, twice, three times. And then grab only this face, maybe both of them. Unselect the main body. And let's bring this face over here. And then grab this. Hold on, right click, choose face. Let's, um, let's grab this face again, extrude it. Tap on one of those cubes, extrude it once, one more time. To create another fr inner frame like so. And then extrude it backward over there. Press F8, hold on the shift, right click, insert edge loop. We will add one edge loop here one edge loop there and also uh, maybe one more edge loop here one more edge loop here one more edge loop here and one more edge loop here so this will maintain this as a cubic here then <clears throat> let's grab this face here <coughs> I want you to uh, extrude it that way and press F8 bring it back to object mode um, hold on the shift right click insert edge loop one here and one more here okay so let's press 3 to see this so we need two more press 1 to exceed the smooth preview we'll add one edge loop here one edge loop here, press 3 to see this, that's okay, let's add another edge loop here, okay, I'm toggling between 1 and 3 to smooth preview and to exceed the smooth preview, so just make sure you understand this, and let's go over modify and center the pivot for it, and let's bring this piece over here, and we can press 3, sorry, 3 to smooth preview it, um, and maybe even scale it a little bit so it will fit this kind of hole we have here and yeah let's bring this a little bit more inside that way and maybe we need to uh, add, add some more edge loops here so I will add one more edge loop here. Sorry, it was a little bit attached to the other one, so I will had to do it again. And one more here. Press three. So we have some kind of a push button to, or whatever. I don't know. Uh, basically, you can pull this door, but. <laughs> uh, Maybe you also have, you know, kind of uh, like in refrigerators, you have also the uh, this pedal, you can open the door with your leg. Well, this is very old refrigerators, but whatever. So, uh, I don't know, I'm sticking to the retro kind of uh, electric uh, product, so, uh, excuse me, okay, um, yeah. So this is the door, this is the microwave, we do want to add the control panel here. So let's grab these three, extrude them. Now I'm extruding in smooth preview mode, so let's press 1 to exceed the smooth preview mode and extrude this that way. I just want to create a very thin frame in that area, so that area will also maintain a little bit cubic and not rounded as you already seen right now when I was in smooth preview mode so yeah that way and maybe extrude it one more time that way okay and then right click choose face let's grab this inner frame okay double click 
on one of them so it will loop select it extrude it inside just a bit okay and then extrude it one more time and just a little bit more to the back let's press F8 to bring it back to object mode and 3 to smooth preview it so right now it looks like this I don't want this to look like this so what we will going to do is add some more edge loops insert edge loops we will add one edge loop here one okay one edge loop over here to the side one to the bottom and one more to the other side. So now if we press 3 it looks like this and that's fine. Uh, let's do another thing. We grab this face here, extrude it, tap on one of those cubes, extrude it like so. Maybe thinner, much more thinner frame before. Okay, Extrude it once again, tap on one of those cubes. And this will be some kind of a digital watch or timer. So I'm extruding one more time and creating another frame like so. And press F8, hold on the shift, right click, insert edge loop. I want to add two more edge loops, one here, one there. And shift, fa uh, right click face, choose this face, extrude it. Uh, backward. Now we are going to go over edit mesh. Sorry, uh, first of all don't don't push it too much backwards, only a little bit. And extrude it one more time backwards, just a little bit. And then edit mesh, duplicate this face, I need this face. So uh, F8 once or twice or three times. And choose these two face two objects, unselect the main microwave body, and bring this a little bit outside. So we have this as a, some kind of a uh, you know window for this uh, digital watch, and also we have the back, the inside part. So this is where we are going to put the texture for the this uh, timer or watch. Okay, so. Uh, also, we have to add some more edge loops, so hold down the shift, right click, insert edge loop, we will add one edge loop here, one edge loop here, one edge loop here, and one edge loop here. So if I will smooth preview this, microwave, everything looks still looks cubic not rounded much okay okay press one to exit the smooth preview and right click choose face I only want this face to be extracted so mesh extract and F8 once or twice so um, after this um, basically save the file uh, we will continue at the next part we will create the, the dish inside this uh, microwave and uh, we also will add a texture for this digital uh, control panel and uh, we'll see uh, a few more stuff that we need to be uh, complete here okay so hope you enjoy this part and by the way you can maybe lower down the control panel okay uh, it's a little bit too high but that's okay you know that's fine. Okay, so see you at the next part. Hope you enjoyed this part. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment if you have any question. And that's it. Have a nice day, people. Bye.